Hello everybody, welcome to another Pi game with Python and Pi OpenGL tutorial video from Centex for Bucky in the New Boston. In the last video what we were working on was our uh, GLU perspective and now we're ready to uh, modify uh, basically where, where we start sort of um, in relation to our cube. So we're going to use GL trans translate F and GL translate officially multiplies the current matrix by a translation matrix. So what it really does is it lets you kind of move about the object um, and the parameters that you pass through here are just X, Y, and Z. And you'll see what I mean in a moment uh, about moving about the object, itchy nose syndrome again. So we're just going to pass through 0, 0.0, 0, 0, and then we'll pass negative uh, um, 5.0. Okay, so what this means is like we could pass through values here, and again, just like GLU perspective, and just like the importance of order here, <clears throat> I will show you once we have a cube up on screen, you can actually have kind of a fun time editing some of this stuff, because... OpenGL is pretty much going to like draw whatever you throw at it, so sometimes you can draw some pretty funny looking things. Anyway, this will be our basically negative 5 means we're going to take 5 unit steps back and from our cube. Otherwise, if we don't do negative 5, our cube will be the screen. <laughs> and we'll have no idea the cube is even there. <laughs> but it's there. Um, so we take negative 5... Um, well, I guess if you took negative five steps back, you would actually take five steps forward. So we're actually going to take five steps back, and or five units back, and then we'll see our actual cube. So the next thing um, that we're going to cover is rotate. So we can also do GL rotate F. And this is basically, um, this actually takes four parameters. This takes the angle, then X, Y, Z. And so the angle, we'll just say uh, 20 degrees, uh, and then x, we'll just have 0, and then 0, and then 0. So x, y, z, all zeros. Uh, but as you modify these, that's what's going to basically like tilt things. So um, I'll show you what I mean by that probably again once we render the cube. So let's work on actually rendering the cube. So we have... Uh, while true, um, and this is where we throw in our typical pi game event loop, right? So for event in pi game dot event dot get, what do we want to do? Sometimes we print event here, but we won't. First, we're going to say if event dot type equals uh, pi game dot quit. What do we want to do? We're going to run. Whoops game dot quit and then finally a quit so this allows us to actually X out of the screen and um, and that'll be it for now and now what we want to do is uh, so for event uh, we're done with that for loop for now so this is basically gonna allow us to just leave when we want to leave instead of like having to like exit out very messy so now what we want to do is we're going to do um, we'll do we'll run a gl clear and this basically acts like our fill statement used to so before we would say fill white and it would fill the screen white and then we would draw everything on top of the screen again uh, gl clear clears the view because um, if you draw like in pi game it was okay because of the way it renders but in OpenGL, it's, it, things work a little differently. If you draw everything in the back end, it's still going to kind of like render it in the foreground. Because why? Because more matters than what can, you can view, right? You need to be able to change your perspective. So it's always going to have that stuff in the back end. Um, so you kind of have to keep that in mind. So GL clear. Um, and then um, here we put in some, some serious parameters. So turn on your caps, caps button here. GL color underscore buffer underscore bit pipe then uh, GL underscore depth underscore buffer underscore bit some some open GL constants basically then after we clear 
uh, the screen, we're going to go ahead and uh, run draw cube. So draw underscore cube. And then we'll run pygame.display.update. And then um, we don't really have. Uh, we're gonna do frames per second, but what we what we can do instead is we can just do pygame dot time dot wait ten. Then we can run main, and we've written a lot of code before we get to bug check, so we'll see how this pans out for us. But let's go ahead and save and run that. And see what see what happens. G oh we uh, typo depth buffer bit depth here we go depth buffer bit oh my goodness I undercased it <laughs> oh my goodness all right okay another problem for edge in edges oops we need to call that edges so this list of edges needs to be edges for edge and edges Let's try again. It's a lot of errors, folks. Oh my goodness. Bert is not defined. All right, vertex. One more time, one more time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, a pocket is going to update. Let's try it. Let's we'll pass through a flip. Uh, display to update, uh, flip. Ba bum <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like I said, that uh, was quite the challenge. Uh, so this is our uh, obviously our display. We've got the cube up there. It doesn't totally. I mean, it, we're, we can imagine that this is a cube, but we can't really do anything with it. We can't like visualize it very well. So we still obviously have a lot of stuff to cover as far as visualizing this cube. I'm going to show you guys a lot of the uh, proper display changes and all of that. Um, but I guess we'll we'll do that in the next video. So we'll close out of this. And uh, that's it. So hopefully you guys are excited you drew your first OpenGL cube. Uh, so anyways, uh, stay tuned to the next video and thanks for watching.